Would you like to streamline your data collection? Well, let me show you how with JotForm's AI agents. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and like I mentioned, if you are looking to streamline that data collection, you can do that by turning a static form like you see here into a dynamic conversation with JotForm's AI agent. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Up at the top, we have our hotel feedback form. I'm going to go ahead and choose to edit form so we can see what that looks like on its own. Very simple. We have name, phone number, email, check-in, duration of stay. We have a couple of questions. We also have a table. We have the star. How would you overall rate the hotel and then any other suggestions for us. Now you can see this is a very simple form. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my main dashboard and click on that jot form logo. And from here, I'm going to choose where it says my forms and I'm going to jump down to my agents. Next top left hand corner, we're going to create an agent. And as you can see, it's very similar to our form builder. We can either start from scratch. We can start from a form, which is what we're going to utilize. You can also utilize one of our templates or you can clone yourself and replicate your knowledge, which is pretty neat. So this example, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and start from that form. So I'm going to choose start with form and we're going to choose our hotel feedback form. We'll create our agent. And as you can see, we land in the design tab of our AI agent. You can see we have design, train, and publish. So on the design tab over on the right hand side, you can see we're going to start on our avatar. We can see that it's Luna. We can also look at our avatar gallery, but down here we can type in exactly what we're looking for. We can even choose to generate. We can edit any piece of this, or we can upload our own if we have our own mascot or something that we want to be that avatar for us. But under avatars, we can definitely change this to be exactly what we're looking for. We have a lady with a clipboard. We can change this to anyone that we would like. And you can see each one has their own name. This one was Luna, and now we have Samantha, but we can also change the style. Right now we have this gray and white color scheme. If you want, you can change the start color and the end color to fit your branding, or you can also upload your own to be that background image. If you want, we can change that heading for Samantha. We can change her name. We can give her a different title and we can also change the layout as well. But I want to show you what this is going to look like in that next tab, the train tab, you can really make this fit you and your brand. So in this first one, we have the AI persona. We can change her name, all the information about her. We can give very specific instructions. We can even change that tone. We can even give a knowledge base to train from. So if we have a website with FAQs or maybe a PDF document, we can add that here. We can also edit you know, some conditional logic for when you do this, the AI agent will do that. We can also have forms connected, which is what we're going to do in this example. We have that hotel feedback form and we can also teach our agent. We can pretty much teach it by talking to it at the same time, which is pretty neat. And then we have our publish option, which is going to be very similar to our form builder. We can even embed, we can do phone agent, which is pretty neat. We have that voice agent and then we have our agent app, but let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in real time. So the top right hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and choose to preview. And you can see it says, hello, I'm Samantha, your friendly AI feedback assistant. How can I help you? And you can see it says give feedback on my hotel stay or learn about hotel feedback process. I'm going to go ahead and choose to give feedback on my hotel stay. And you can see it looks like she's typing. So it says, please provide your full name so we can proceed. Now, one thing with that form is all of these questions were optional. So if you want to make sure that your form is filled out completely, we want to make sure to make all of those questions required. So because it's not required, I have the option to skip that question. So that's one thing to look out for. Let me go ahead and we'll give this a quick fill out. We'll say we're John Smith. All right, can we share a phone number? Yeah, we'll do our email address. And as you can see, we are pretty much filling out that form, but in the form of having a conversation with someone. So we'll say that we checked in back in May. And so here we're getting into those multiple choice questions. So how did you hear about our hotel? We'll say friends and family. And we did it online. And we'll say vacation for our purpose. And now we have that question that is the rating system. So we'll go ahead and say everything was excellent. And then we have that star rating, the overall experience. And then do you have any other suggestions? We can say no. 
everything was great. And then here we have, thank you for your feedback. Please click the submit button to review and finalize your responses. We can review and submit. And here is our form perfectly filled out. All right, let's go ahead and submit. And we can see that that was at 100% now. And it says, thank you for filling out our form. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. Let's see what she says. That's perfectly fine. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. So let's go ahead and jump out of the preview mode up in the top left hand corner. We're currently in AI agent builder. We can go ahead and jump over to our inbox and we see John Smith. We see that entire conversation along with their answers. And if you want in the top right hand corner, we can see where it says view submission. We can turn that on. So we have that submission view in addition to that conversation view. And of course, top left hand corner, if you'd prefer to see this data in your tables, we can do that as well. And here you go, it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize Jotform AI agents to streamline your data collection, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.